there are two ways that companies use to allow wireless access to their users and one of them is by creating a pre-shared key and sharing with everyone else in the network meaning users as long as they have that password they should be able to access the same resource on the network now this is an easy way of doing things but it's not the most secure way companies want a way to differentiate their users whether they are employees whether they are contractors or just guests now more secure option would be to rely on 802.1x to authenticate the users based on username and password or even digital certificates and that's what i'm going to show you in this video so we're going to see how to deploy a wireless solution by relying on cisco eyes to authenticate the users based on username and password and we're going to rely also on active director to provide those credentials now to avoid making this video any longer we're just going to focus on integrating the cisco wireless lan controller with cisco eyes and if you want to learn how to deploy a cisco wireless network from the ground i'm going to share some links in the video description okay this is the topology i have in place i have a wireless lan controller and that's the C900CL and I have this controller on the network 192.168.2024 and its IP is dot 18 and here I have an AP and this AP is broadcasting uh the wlan or ssid i believe that's ccie underscore free okay and i have dhcp enabled here and dhcp is the wireless lan controller i also have uh my active directory on the same network and here i have another network and that's going to be on a two one six eight four three zero slash twenty four and on this network i have cisco eyes and its ip is dot twenty one okay and the ap will be assigned an ip address on this subnet 192.168.2 something and so will be for clients so i'll have a windows pc and this windows client will be assigned also an ip on this subnet to something okay and we can actually validate this now okay this is my client pc and now if i try to connect to cci free and let me type the password okay and it's connected so let's take a look at properties so yeah it's connected and was assigned an ip address 192.168.233 which means that the wireless network is working but we are using right now a pre-share key or a password so now let's start deploying 802.1x okay so here on the wireless LAN controller we should go to configuration uh security in AAA. and first we want to add uh, cisco eyes as the radius uh server so we're going to add a new server so i'm going to type the name to be eyes and as you recall on my topology ice ip address was 192.168.43.21 and the key type is going to be clear text and now i'm going to type the pre-shared key or the password that layer we have to type also into cisco eyes and yep that should be enough I'm going to apply so now i'm going to create a radius server so go to server groups you're going to add a new one just name this as radius servers and that time is going to live so i have multiple interfaces here 
or in my case, I'm going to use uh, VLAN one. So let me just confirm if that's the right one. So I want to use, yeah, 218. So that's VLAN one. Okay, that's great. Now I can go back. Okay, so I have to go back to several groups again and edit. So that's going to be radius servers. And the source is going to be VLAN one. And I'm going to select eyes and I'm going to add to the assigned server. So I'm going to save this. Next, I'm going to AAA method list and I want to create the authentication method list. So I'm going to change the name to eyes authentication. And the type is going to be dot one X and the group type is going to be group. And I want to select radius server so the group we just created and i'm going to apply to the device now as for eyes or radius server this is done now a couple of things we have to change on the controller the first one will be the wireless lan we have to change the authentication type so we go to the double lan security and we want to disable pre-shared key and only enable 82.1x Next, we go to AAA. We're going to select the authentication list, eyes authentication. And now we go to, let me double check. Is it advanced? No, it's not. So we can save this. Now, next we have to change the policy profile. So we go to police. And here we want to change the policy profile. In my case, I'm using this one. And if we go to access policies, I just want to make sure that I'm using the right uh, VLAN. And here on advanced, I want to enable this AAA override. And I'm going to save this. Okay, from the wireless LAN controller, this is all we have to do. So now let's jump to Cisco Eyes. So here in Cisco Eyes, the first thing will be to add uh, the wireless LAN controller as an object. So we click on network devices and we're going to add I'll give it a name I'm just going to be um new c900 c9800 and the ip address that's going to be 192.168.218 and we want to enable radius and the shared secret has to match the one we just created before on cisco uh and the wireless lan controller so that's going to be PCIe 65. Let me double check on that. Yep. And we can save this. Okay. So next we should go to police, policy sets. And here I already have this uh, policy set created. So essentially I want to capture uh, 802.1x request, more precisely, uh, wireless 802.1x. Okay. And inside this policy set, on authentication policy, I have this authentication policy. That's, that's the type authentication. Authentication, and this is one of the conditions that I'm using. So user pass. So this is going to be uh, a request coming from uh, the controller. And I want to match this request to be authenticated against the Active Directory link that I have on Cisco I. So, I already had that in place and you can watch one of the previous videos to learn how to do it. So once the user gets authenticated, then it's going to be authorized based on this policy. So I have this policy SSID CCI free and essentially I want to check if it's a domain user, then I'm going to allow access. That's as simple as that. So I'm going to save this. Okay. Now this is done. And so now let's go back to the PC client and test the access. Okay, so here I'm going to try to connect again to CCI free. And now it's asking for username and password. So I'm going to use one of the credentials that I know. So Slezic value. I'll type the password. And it's going to throw this warning message. No problem, just want to connect. Okay, and looks like it was successfully uh, authenticated. So if we take a look at properties, 
it should be assigned an IP on the same subnet 192.168.233 and we can also check some logs on Cisco Eyes just to validate this. Okay, so here on Cisco Eyes, if we go to operation live logs, you can see that the user was successfully authenticated. So it should be this one. So let me take a look at this, what it says. And it was successfully authenticated. That's the username. It is hitting this authentication policy and it's being authorized on this rule. And it was successfully authenticated. And that's how companies provide wireless access to their users by relying on Cisco Eyes as the authentication server. So if you took value from this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one.